So you want to become a dinosaur, but you don't want to have super short arms. Well, I can feel you there. My arms are short enough as it is. Hey guys, I'm Beth, this is Mike, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to use the grease pencil. A recent project that I've been doing uh, uses the grease pencil, so we're going to go ahead and do that for today. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is once we have our scene set up, we have a nice little camera in the scene. Everything's kind of blank, you know, nothing's going on. I'm going to hit Shift A, and we're going to search for a grease pencil object and hit blank there. And now what we can see is it's done basically nothing. So, let's go ahead and change over to a grease pencil view. Hit this little plus. If you don't have it up here at the top already, hit this little, this little plus button, and then go to 2D animation, and then hit 2D animation right there. Boom. Now we have nice little grease pencil setup which looks really good what we can do is we can go up up to the um the uh, uh, uh draw mode up here and you see we have we have draw now which is nice so instead of just having object or edit we have draw so now once we're in draw mode we can draw these nice little these nice little lines check it out whoa isn't that crazy this little bean look at him this little bean um that's how we draw and now once we go ahead and hit render animation you can see boom it is right there that is what we just drew that looks really really sweet nice um but what I want to talk about next is uh, creating an animation. So this is just one singular image. So how do we go about doing an animation, you say? Well, if you go to the second frame here, down here in the bottom in the timeline, as you would in, a, in, in regular Blender, you can't go ahead and hit delete. You can't hit delete. And if you hit tab to go into edit mode and then hit A to select everything and hit delete, you can see that you can delete points. But then that also deletes the first animation, the first keyframe on that on, of, of this. So the way we can fix that is by going ahead and doing exactly what you would do in a regular blender situation so hit i to insert a keyframe and now you can either do a blank keyframe or an active keyframe blank means it's going to get rid of whatever you have in in this like um shot so it's going to get rid of this little bean and if you hit um a duplicate active keyframe it'll keep this and then you can draw over top of it and continue with that so i'm gonna go ahead and hit um duplicate uh, active keyframe and then we'll go ahead and hit tab and then we'll only select little tiny pieces that i want to delete we'll select all this and this and i'm holding down shift right now to select these pieces and these portions there we go hit delete points now you can see once we come out of that, you can see now the first frame looks like this and the second frame looks like that, which is really, really cool stuff. So um, now if we play this, um, I'm going to go ahead and move that over there, hit G to move it over. And then I'm going to go to frame 16, hit I, and then create in insert a blank keyframe. Now you can see it's full, then it's half, then it's gone. Easy. Cool. So next thing I want to talk about is the types of brushes. So um, there's only one kind of brush that I think looks really, really good for animation. Um, or just art in general, which is the pin brush. I think the pin brush looks wicked. It's much darker, obviously, because the, um, the, the, the the pencil brush we were using, the lighter one, it's kind of transparent, and it doesn't look as good to me. I like the uh, the pin a lot better, so it looks really cool. So I use the pin personally. There you go. Look at that. Check it out. It just looks really good. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. It's a little bear. Aw. He's cute. Aw. Look at him. Um, anyway, so... Once, that's, once all that's done, the last thing I want to talk about, this is literally basically everything you need to, to do this, to use the grease pencil, which is so cool because it's so straightforward and it's so easy to do. Um, but the next thing I want to talk about, the last thing I want to talk about is color. So up, if you want to change uh, colors, instead of just going to the material tab, you could go to the material tab. You can also select it up here. So you can hit this little, this little thing. And if you want to change this black color on the fly, you can change this black color to a different color, which is cool. So you can change the blue, you know, other different colors, da 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 da, da whatever, um, which is really, really neat. But you'll notice one thing. If I go ahead and go to the material tab, hit this little uh, plus to add in a new color, hit new, and then change the base color to like a really, really bright yellow. Like, whoa. And I draw with that. You can see it's not as bright as you're currently seeing that it is. Why is that, you might ask? Well, I got you. Don't worry. If you go to the um, object data tab and then hit viewport display, or not viewport display, visibility, sorry. And then go to grease pencil. You can see it says use lights. If we uncheck that, whoa, there's our colors. Look at them go. They're popping. So that is now the actual yellow color we have. We can actually change it around. It will actually match the color that we choose. We have neon pink and this little, this little green color that we have here. We can make this like a neon yellow. Awesome cool it's like, it's like i'm going to a roller skating rink in the 80s nice um now with this done the last thing i want to talk about is once again um going up to so there we go oh that's so cool look at that so because we created all this on the first frame if you go to the second frame here which is frame eight you can see it's all gone now the last thing that i want to talk about is layers so the last thing i want to talk about is layers let's go ahead and add in a layer here um the way we can do that is by doing this hit this hitting this little button right here this is the, the add layer button this little plus and you can see we have another layer on top of this which looks really good so um 
I'm going to double click this and we're going to call this lines two. And then we'll call the one on the bottom. You guessed it. Lines, John. Nice. Um, with that done, I'm going to go to the uh, frame on with the, the, the layer on top, which is lines two. And then we're going to go ahead and just draw some stuff over top of it so you can see that it actually does um, it actually does work over top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make that color like that. And then I'll hit this new new color. And then we'll make this like just something just black just so we can see it's over top of it. So there you go. It, it is actually over top of the blue now. And if we were to go ahead and click and drag, if we were to go ahead and move this up like this and go to move and then move up, you can see that now the blue is on top of it. So I'll call lines, John, we'll call it just so it's easy blue and we'll call the lines uh, to black. So if I move the black lines, the black layer on top of the blue layer, you can see it is now on top. So that is really, really cool. Super easy way to use just to do layers in um, in Blender and using the grease pencil. I think this is an absolutely massive monumental tool that a lot of people do not utilize. And we'll be doing a lot more on the channel um, with it very, very, very shortly. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy 2D animation because this is where we're going to be for a while, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> I will see you in the next tutorial. Hope you have a fantastic day or night wherever you are right now. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.